What's up guys? So for the hurdles video, I'm just gonna throw some hurdles on the floor because a lot of you guys probably won't have access to hurdles. If you don't, I want you just to find anything that you can jump over, some boxes, uh, some furniture, anything that's obviously gonna be safe for you to jump around. Now, I'm just gonna show you a few different variations of these that you can kind of throw in based on what you think you might need. Now, the easiest one to do is just to have hurdles or furniture or equipment that you can jump over repeatedly, okay? So we have about four hurdles here that we can set up at the gym. Now, what I would want you to start focusing on is um, a combination of three different styles of jumping, okay? The first one is gonna be a little bit of a skip, a hop, before you jump over the next one. So what we wanna try to do is we wanna try to contract and relax, right? Which is what happens with the skip. So if you jump, one skip, jump, one skip, jump, all right? So you'll notice there I go from landing, small skip to reacting quickly. Now, the second way we can jump is by actually doing it super fast try to be very quick through our ankles without much knee bend, right? So in this case, it would just be a, right, just a quick bounce through that ankle complex, which is a bit more reactive, which is something we try to work on sometimes with our guys. And then the third variation would be you're trying to jump over the hurdles, but you're trying to have a slower ground contact time. So it's gonna flow a little bit more, right? And this is gonna allow you usually to jump higher, have a bit more time to process it because you're not having to do it as fast. Okay, so there's different ways that you can set up your hurdles or your furniture. Okay, one way we like to set things up in the gym as well, and just to give you a bit of an idea, and again, because a lot of you guys won't have hurdles, this is why I'm just putting this on the floor. Another way would be to add some lateral elements to it. So same concept, right, trying to keep the chest straight, right, and every time you're jumping, you're adding a bounce to it, or we can go straight through, where we're just trying to go nice and quick over the hurdles, right? Again, with a skip, with a jump, without it, with a little bit slower ground contact time. So these are all elements that you can focus on with your hurdles or with whatever equipment you have. So the key to this is you wanna gradually make it harder by either making it higher, increasing the distance between the hurdles or the equipment that you're using, so that we're really challenging that kind of reactive aspect or the distance um, or just the demand needed in order to change that direction. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know.